Hey, hey. And we've gone live on YouTube. We've gone live on in two places today. Uh, we're live on Instagram right now with the phone, and we're live also on uh, YouTube, obviously. Uh, do let us know, guys, if you can see us and hear us. And for those of you who know us, Aya, welcome back to the channel. And for those of you who haven't been here before, Aya, I'm Paul. I'm Jason. And together we are Those, those Vegan, vegan guys. guys. And today is our, um, well, it's going to be a, a live cook-along um not necessarily cook along because as you all know i never let you know what i'm doing till the day i'm doing it um but there's been a couple of things recently that have popped up a couple of weeks ago when i did the chocolate cake live um i said that i had been considering doing um jackfruit uh so today i thought ah i'll do jackfruit and then recently on a live curry making vlog i said um oh uh let me know if you want me to do a vlog on uh cauliflower rice and a few people said yes yeah. so i thought do you know what i'll do both because they are actually perfect together with a bit of slaw and some soft white bread rolls marvelous there you go there you go so that's basically a little bit of an intro for today uh, not only, as Paul alluded to before, does he uh, often uh, not know until the actual day what we're doing for cooking in the kitchen, uh, but also Paul decided literally one and a half minutes before we're going to go live to go live, to on, go Instagram live on Instagram as well, because that's just what we're like sometimes. So I'm very sorry, but we can't hear uh, all you. Um, we can't read all you people on Instagram. I can see it. Okay. I can see it from here. I can see lots of people are waving. Um, uh, Leanne, Honey, Bees, Gregor, Paul, Gregor, Polo. Of course, it's a very different shot on Instagram because it's portrait. Yes. And here on um, YouTube, we are landscape. So, you know, yeah. there's that to consider. Yeah. But we've got 60 in the house on YouTube, um, which is great. Wonderful to see you all, as usual. Um, 25 thumbs up. If you're enjoying the live stream already and you haven't, please do consider giving the live stream a thumbs up because it helps us get the down to earth vegan message out there to all the folk out there who don't know us. Dorcas is in the house. Carla, Will and Chris, Kat, Deneen. I'm going to scroll up to the top and give a quick shout out. Now, can I just say before, uh, before anybody starts coming to film quality, uh, don't forget that this is not the new camera. This is our, we always use a webcam. Yes. when we're streaming live very good webcam <clears throat> logic uh bought for us from one of our gorgeous subscribers uh and we're on the phone for uh instagram um however the um oh no this week's a lot of vlog isn't filmed on the new camera either no it's a surprise you'll see why <laughs> uh adam's got a sneaking suspicion adam chest I'll just say that. Shh, don't send him your ears. Shut up. Bosoms. Bosoms. We'll see. <laughs> anyway. Um, but yeah, our recent unboxing vlog and of course our introduction vlog were both filmed on the new camera. And last week's allotment vlog yes. was all filmed on the new camera as well. Um, it is noticeably different. But this week's isn't. Yes. Do remember that. Anyway, hi to everybody who's joined us. And let me unpin my welcome comment now. Yes. Unpin message there. Yeah. Our fabulous mods are here with us this afternoon. Now, Leanne and Ashley. Dorcas. Dorcas, darling. Um, I'm going to ask you a really random question now I, 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 because I've never asked before. Um, it's an awkward question as well these days. I, I read your name <clears throat> as male. Are you? I don't know. I know that you're Docs and Nigel, a wonderful couple, but I don't know whether Docs is a female name, Docs and Nigel, or Docs is a male name, Docs and Nigel. However, I think your parcel's arrived, so we might open it on this vlog, Docs. Something else I didn't And know. it doesn't matter what gender you are or how you see yourself, unless you want me to... Re <laughs> he said, he said, nope, I'm an aging crone. <laughs> okay. That doesn't help, 
Simon is in the house, Tom's office. All right, I'm going to get to it soon because I know that, you know, I don't want to, I don't want people to be like, you know what, this what they're talking about, this is a cooking vlog. It is a cooking vlog. Female or thank you, darling. Thank, thank you, you, Dorcas. Thank you, Dorcas. Yeah, I, I didn't I, have a clue. I, to no, I that. looked up your name and apparently it's most commonly used uh, as a male name. It's a beautiful name though. What origin was it? Where does the name originate? <laughs> See, I read online on Google that it was often used as a male name thing. Yes. This is why YouTube's fantastic, because we all learn about each other all around the world. Hey, today's around the world. Find really? a pot of gold beneath the rainbow in the sky. Little uh, halogen dubri. Dubri dot, dubri dot, what's it? Uh, oh, where's the... Um, Oh, I'm it's an over here, I think I? that's where you normally plug it in, yeah. Do I? Yeah. Do I, Jason? Do I? I say a quick hello to our Instagram peeps. Uh, Plant Based Ali, hello from rainy California. Hello, darling. <laughs> right. Got my little induction dubri hob here. Um, and so I'm going to show you this first. Honestly, guys, this is the most incredibly simple part of what we're doing today so i've already because i didn't want to do it on here i've already used this grater the small one and grated my cauliflower i've already done that because it is quite time consuming you've got to press really hard really really hard and i've ended up with this very fine cough i'm showing instagram and i'm showing youtube very fine and it's still quite moist as well of course because it's it's grated cauliflower so i'm going to get my big frying pan oh you know what i'll do preemptive as well just because i get a little bit uh, paranoid I'm just going to put this here on the keyboard. Um, right, I want the pan to heat up and I'm going to use some of this. I know, well, people say that this stuff is a misconception. Oh, you use far more, you use far more of it than you would normal oil. So it's a, it's a, you know, blah, blah, blah. But it, I mean, it's not, it's good stuff. And um, yes, I might use 10 to 12 sprays of it in here, but it's basically to stop the uh, pan sticking. Uh, do I want to go a little bit higher? How high does it go? Whilst you are adjusting the temperature, uh, Dorcas says, a very inventive dad who inflicted interesting names on us all. Dorcas was raised from the dead, apparently. Ooh. Ask Nigel as it happens every morning long. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. So once this heats up, I'll spray it and basically get the cauliflower rice in there and just keep it moving. Now, you can we've we've done this both ways with uh, cauliflower rice. If you want to, you can start off with a very finely chopped onion in your pan. And a little bit of oil get your onion browned and then add your grated cauliflower and you get your grated cauliflower to the color you want it we like it a golden color because it gets a kind of nutty flavor it's beautiful mm -hmm. it's beautiful and it's very very healthy of course i don't like this blind open i was just thinking should i close it yeah yeah i don't like it's it bit, it's a bit dramatic aren't you? i don't like it Bit better there we go there we go michael james is in the house on instagram it says hello and nat wild as well hi guys hello 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 and uh, whilst that's warming up do you want to just very quickly recap um people what we're actually cooking yes today we're going to do two elements which happen to go very well to together we're doing cauliflower rice 
which I've grated using the very fine grater, cauliflower rice, and we're going to be doing um, jackfruit, young green jackfruit, uh, which I've had draining over here for a while. Uh, and so that's, we'll, we'll be doing the cauliflower rice first. About 16 sprays. <laughs> It looks quite fluffy, which is, I suppose, an obvious statement to make from a, a, a non-cook no. like myself. Because I want it to dry out a bit, I'm just separating the little clumps and trying to get an even layer of it all over the pan. Fresh brown black pepper. I think I referenced our mods before, by the way, but I don't think I actually thanked you directly. So, Ashley and Leanne, thank you for being here as always. Greatly appreciated. Fabulous mods, fabulous people. Now, the trick I found with uh, cauliflower rice is not to move it around the pan too much. So, at first, let's... Can you see the steam coming off it? I can. Can you, you guys see the steam coming off it? That's the moisture coming away from it. And so, the bits that are um, in contact with the pan will start to go golden. Uh, Roxanne says, did you cook it before grating it? No, love, grate it from raw. You have to grate it from raw because it goes into such tiny pieces. They actually cook quite quick. But good question because I bet a lot of people would have wondered that and, and not wanted to ask. Vegan Runner, thank you for being here. Um, Vegan Runner says, it's a good time. It's good timing as I have a head of collie that needs using up. Perfect. And I had half a head because um, we've had veg, steamed veg, uh once this week can't we um, what else did he use cauliflower for red cauliflower and peas one night mm -hmm. god i love cauliflower and garden peas steamed cauliflower and garden peas that's it together not the only thing on your plate but as a side dish oh, adore it alex is in the house tracy there. Tracy says, I've never made my own cauliflower rice, always had the frozen, which seems bland and a bit tasteless, uh, as I'm the only one who likes cauliflower. I do believe you've inspired me to give it a go, Tracy. Because I got inspired to give it a go just by seeing it online. I don't know why genies suddenly become a thing for my stomach. It's usually P's and double U's. You can say. You can say. Right, I'm just going to give that a little shake. And Tom says, I've never made cauliflower rice before. I love cauliflower, though, in all its forms. I even love it raw. Must try making it. Cauliflower is kind of like the rock and roll veg, isn't it? It's it, There's a lot you can do with it. Uh, Steve was starting to get a bit of colour in that. Let me do a little bit of a... Bring that down a tiny bit. a little bit of golden colour. I'm just going to give it another little spray just on the top. This is the Fry Light Butter Flavoured, by the way. Um... I don't, and it's clearly marked vegan um, on the back there. So, as most of these fry like, like you know, if you're going to use some oil sometimes, particularly for something delicate like this, they're perfect. Everyone's um, everyone's into the col uh, the uh, the collie rice. Lots of comments. People are going to try it. People just loving cauliflower in general. Uh, Stacey, never know what to do with cauliflower, so I might have to try this. Ashley, collie rice is fantastic. I also love cheesy collie mash. Oh, nice. yes. Yeah. 
uh, Dorcas like roasted collie and when low carbing collie mash rules. Yes. <laughs> Imran's in the house. Hey, you guys. I, that, Jess. I can smell it. It smells great. It really does. Mike's in the house. Thank you for joining us, Mike. And Maxi Mocket. I mean, really, in my opinion, it should be called Cauliflower Couscous. I suppose. Because it's more more couscousy than rice. Yeah, because of the size of the thing you use. But, you know. Hannah's in the house on Insta. Hi, those vegan guys. How are you both? Are you having a wonderful weekend? Sounds really awesome, Dish. We're doing great. Yeah, it's it's a classic weekend for us. I think if we hadn't have been uh, cooking in the kitchen this afternoon, we probably would have been at the Northwest Vegan Fest, wouldn't we? Yes. Uh, although it's fair to say it wasn't that long ago. It was November we were there last We were time. there, and we've blocked it twice now, haven't we? Yeah. It's fantastic. I think, I think Flanny, way back in the chat, it might have got my names wrong. It might not have been Flanny. Somebody in that's in the chat today that's on the live, uh, has been to the vegan festival today. Right. They just got back in time uh, for the live. So, hope you had an awesome time anyway. Turn that up to the slightly higher setting to lovely. finish it off. But it's drying nicely now, so it's moving about the pan more kind of uh, independently. Oh, that's lovely. Um, have I got time to read another comment? Yeah. Uh, sure. Mike says, I've just been to Northern Vegan Festival for the first time, found your channel through them vlogs. Nice. Nice. So you went looking um, for Northern Vegan Festival and found us. I'm assuming that's reading between the lines. Uh, and Jacqueline says, have you got snow up north? We had a little bit, yeah, but not too much. And it went pretty quickly because the sun came out not long afterwards and melted it all away. So in the grand scheme of things, we've had very little. We've, we've done all right. Um, and I don't think we're going to get any more myself, but I could be proven wrong. Oh, wow. Dorcas says, blimey, chaps, we had over a foot here of snow. Bloody hell. It's, it's just a, it's a geographical postcode lottery, isn't it, when it comes to snow? Right, I'm going to take this off the heat now, guys. Can you see? It's got a golden colour to it. It's remained granular. And this is going to be our uh, dinner tonight. So, um, for now, I'm just going to put it on one of these plates. So I can reuse this can for the jackfruit. No, where's that one gone? Absolutely. Oh, cheers for uh, clarifying that, Mike. Saw the event advertised in January and then researched the event on YouTube and found you guys. Ah. Awesome. That's cool. I'm glad that it works because sometimes I have my doubts with the whole YouTube algorithm and, uh, you know, all that stuff. I'm glad that it still works, that people go and look for something. And if we've done something, it's it's connected and, and you find us. That's nice to know. Um, Tom from Tom's office uh, says, by the way, Paul, your school cheese and onion flan is a massive hit with all the family. Oh, sorry. It's gone weird. Has it just decided to just stop responding? Yeah, it's just been weird. Now. If all else fails, switch it off and back on again. Yeah, Tom says your school cheese and onion flan is a massive hit with the family. Fantastic. Right, and now we're moving on to nice one, Tom. Uh, jackfruit. So I am going to actually add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil now to this pan, and that's what I'm going to use to fry the jackfruit. So I'm going to wait until that starts heating up. It was funny, and then we'll get it. Um, uh, Jason, yes, great time. Plenty of people there. Black Forest Gatto and Frittata waiting for us, waiting for us for tea. Oh, and nice. He, what shame we were. No, good mate, yeah. Like I said, under any other circumstance, we'd yeah, probably, we'd had, probably it, had it not been uh, a Sunday Live in the Kitchen today, um, we would have been there. Yes. Because we usually are. 
but I've no room in my cupboard or my fridge or my freezer. I've no room. We've still got hot sauces from uh, last time we went, haven't we? Because we stocked up. Yeah, well and truly. gorgeous. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, you've missed, Angel, you've missed the cauliflower rice, my love, but it's very simple. Grate it finely, use some spray oil, bit of salt and pepper, fry it in your pan, make sure your pan's good and hot, uh, and keep it still first so that some of the moisture goes out and then move it around the pan until it goes golden. Um, here it is on a white plate. Uh, we've just um, finished it, and now we're moving on to the full jackfruit. So, pulled jackfruit, hot pan. Two forks. Move it around a bit first and get some colour on that. Jackfruit, for those of you that don't know, is just an amazing, amazing ingredient. It's very, very neutral in flavour. So any flavour that you add to it will really, really, you know, stick to it. I tell myself this, you know, we don't eat jackfruit nearly enough, considering it's very cheap. Yeah. In this form, especially, definitely. So it's moved around the pan. We're waiting until it gets soft enough to squish and pull apart with the forks. Oh, going back to what we were chatting about before, Danine says, I think we're in the clear now, but we've had some major snowstorms and power outages here. Dear me, terrible. So you look at jackfruit it kind of pulls apart granular which is why it's a perfect alternative for kind of pulled pork now jay mm -hmm. if i leave you to oh in no in fact get one of those blue plastic balls out Right, now I'm going to turn it down. Because it's already started to pull apart really, yeah. really well. Right, Jason, you, my love, my sweet husband, are going to make the barbecue sauce. Cool. In the bowl. Yeah. So, we'll start with some ketchup. Oh, should we put some of that pit sauce in there as well? See, I'm just, or should I just stand it, sit here and be told what to do without offering up any? <laughs> right. Oh, and you've got some ideas of what to put in it. Right, the basic elements in here, Jason, are you start off with ketchup as the base. Right. So give it a good, like, three tablespoons, maybe even a bit more of ketchup. Oh, is there not much? No, it should be enough. A bit more? Yeah, yeah. Maybe add a little bit of tomato puree to that, yeah. Tap in tomato puree. Pop a bit of that in there. Yeah, a bit more? A little bit more, yeah. Right, and now you want just like an even mixture of sweet elements and savoury elements. So your savoury elements, you've got um, the mushroom flavoured soy sauce over there. You've got the Henderson's oh, yeah. here in the cupboard. And the sweet elements, I would put a little bit of that coconut sugar in from the bag.
That's the one, my lover. So they put some of this coconut sugar in. Yeah. That's so that's that. Yes. And I think just because it is actually a barbecue sauce and we've got we're still working our way through the pips. I'm gonna put the rest of this in because there's only a bit oh, left. Oh, there's only a bit left. In so the hot well. sauces that Adam got us, we've been uh, steadily making our way through. This is the pips barbecue hot sauce. So I'll stick the rest of that in there as well. Round edge there. Um, right. I don't know how much of this um, soy sauce to use. It's just guesswork, really. Yeah, really, it is, babe. Yeah. Ooh, I feel I feel like I'm a part of it. <laughs> I'm actually doing something. Okay. Again, I'm just. This is all utter guesswork. Might be quite sweet. There we go. Right, I'm nearly done with it. Last few pieces now to kind of just shred apart. Thank you to everybody on Instagram who's sticking along with us, by the way, or are just popping in to say hi. Vegan Leaves, Oaks, Tracy, Katie, Blythe. Now, this um this pulled jackfruit by the way same thing as i said about the cauliflower rice before you can add other stuff to it like you might want to add some onions to it to give it more body some chopped onion do that at this point before you put your sauce in and let them brown a bit nice so i hope i'm pronouncing this right Sidi. Uh, Sigal says, much love from Hong Kong. I love watching your videos. Oh, wow, Hong Kong. Thank you for being here. Thank Sidi. you indeed. Uh, Dorcas says, really interesting to see the jackfruit being cooked. Never done it and need some inspiration. Awesome right. stuff. So there you go. Do you see how much that looks like pulled meat? Now, very, very much like pulled meat. And uh, because I think I'm done with the forks now, I think everything's been separated as best as it can be. And you can separate it or keep it together as much as you want. You know, we kind of like this texture, hence we're doing this. I'll turn it up a little bit now, try and get some colour on the shredded jackfruit. Um, would you like us to make a slaw while we're here? Uh, let us know, because that'll take me two minutes. Alexandra's just joined us on Insta. Well, it'll take me ten minutes, because I like to leave it in the fridge with the vinegar. Um, but yeah, it'd be, that, that'd be nice for our dinner tonight. We'll get some soft brown rolls from the spa. Uh -huh. uh, and we'll have um, pulled jackfruit, cauliflower rice, homemade slaw, and some soft white rolls. Um my only question and got a slight concern is is there enough i haven't tasted it i should taste it really shouldn't i yes that's the chefy thing to do isn't it that's what i that's well, what that's someone the thing to do when you're cooking something taste it is it any good is it lacking anything mm. if it is lacking anything what's it lacking add that i mean i love it I think it's perfect. I don't think it needs anything. But it just might not be enough, quantity-wise. Yeah. Do you think that'll be enough, though? Um, or am I going to need to like double up on? Something? No, but I would have maybe add a splash of the white, a tiny splash of the white rice vinegar. Okay. To, to, to just for that vinegar element. There you go. This is this is looking fabulous. I might just use the rest of that. Nice and, in the bottle. nice and strong. Perfect. Yeah. So, this is uh, the white rice vinegar from Wing Yet. I mean, I don't know and don't quote me, but if you wanted to add, add a bit of vinegar and you want me to add malt around, I can't, I can't see why it wouldn't work. Mm -hmm. Right, do you want to add that to the pan, Jess? I will in a sec incorporate it mm -hmm.
So we will, of course, you fabulous people, 140 of us in the house on YouTube. Um, oh, has, it? Have I, uh, has anyone answered that slow? Oh, let me scroll down. Oh, let me highlight that so I know where I'm coming back to. Yes, please. Yeah. Yes. I'll do a slow. Yeah. Don't be worried. Jacqueline, vegan runner. Jeanette. Tudor. Cat. Right, Jeff, yeah, get right in. Right. Straight in, yeah? Yeah. I'll make sure to mix the jackfruit around in it so that it all gets done. I mean, we don't want it really over saucy, we just want the sauce to flavour it. Yeah. A little bit more here. Yeah. And yeah. you can always add a bit of water if you want it moister. You know. I will do that actually. I'll just add just a splash because that'll soon cook off, but it will keep it moist and it will make sure that the sauce flavors it right the way through. <laughs> Alison on Insta says, Still yes to the slaw, please. <laughs> and Halloween Spooky 12, our lovely cat. Somebody always asks whether we're on Insta, whether we're on YouTube. Someone always asks about our delightful daughter, Isis. Uh, she was down earlier. She's having an afternoon nap upstairs, which is quite common for her, really, and yeah. probably for most cats. Right. And we are done. Pull jackfruit. Nice. On Instagram. Absolutely full of flavour, full of bar barbecue flavour. Um, would go absolutely beautiful on however you would use pulled pork. You could use this. It's better for you, the animals, the planet, and it tastes delicious. Oh, it now, good. using the two forks that I was pulling it apart with, absolutely, we'll just have a little taste. Um, somebody was asking, I can't remember, I'm so sorry. Um, somebody was asking what we thought of the of the induction hob oh it's fantastic it's, good. it's really good isn't it yeah oh mm. oh that's gorgeous i want more i don't want to spoil the dinner though it's really good oh, isn't it? it's firm stranded meaty full absolutely full full of flavour and all that flavour has come from the sauce we mixed in a bowl stack with ketchup so you can make it whatever way you want to make it you, you keep tasting it until it's right for you and that is how one way you can easily cook jackfruit and cauliflower rice mm -hmm. and then we'll move on to the slaw Right, we'll leave that in the pan for now, Jay, because that's how I warm it up later on. The chat while I says we love baking it in the oven after after pan cooking. Nice, 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 nice. <laughs> Do you know? I might I might steal that idea. I might put it on some paper and put it in the air fryer to crisp up. Okay. Yeah. 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 Just so we can have a little bit of a, a clean up. Are you gonna do a slaw then, mister? I am. Yeah. Yeah, really not too really, won't well, it? Yeah. It's not lost on me, guys, it'd be rude not to. So I'll show you how I throw together a slaw. We're gonna have to move the thing back down again. Uh -huh. I'm gonna be using my uh mandolin do not worry i have a safety glove <laughs> safety glove at the ready right oh wow i didn't realize i left two carrots it's like i knew it's like i knew what was happening it's like i knew i was going to do a slaw 
just going to, for anyone who is with us on YouTube, I'm just scrolling up in the chat just to make sure we've not missed anything vital. So two carrots first. Uh, I always leave skins on for slaw, always. Mind you, I leave skins on when I'm cooking them as well. Whenever I prep carrots, you will find this is how I do them, whether we're steaming them or using them in a slaw. I use that setting on my mandolin with the narrowest blades. Oh, thank you, Flannit, for the reminder to the community and everyone in the chat. Uh, we are 81 thumbs up on the YouTube video, on the YouTube live this afternoon. If you are watching and you haven't already, please do consider giving us a thumbs up. Let's try and get up to 100 because uh, we've got 141 in the house on YouTube. And I think we've got, I can't see, it's too small, but we have got people on Instagram as well. Yes, my love. Yes. Do you get me a, a white onion? Uh-huh. They're all about the same size now, so I'll just grab one. Yeah. Let the white plastic ball. Julienne carrot is going in there. I'm just going to make sure that they're all separated because they come off in kind of perforated slices sometimes. Right, that's the carrot. Uh, I just need to <coughs> chop the end off this. Mm -hmm. I have to excuse the banging we've got new neighbours just moved in oh yes and yeah. they're um, obviously getting their house ready for happiness and comfort yes. we've already met them seem like a lovely couple yeah they're, they're getting getting the house in order getting things together thankfully um, it was uh, it was really quite noisy about an hour before we went live there was lots of banging and lots of drilling it seems to be just a bit of banging now so hope it's not too much of a distraction right got my onion ready and rather than doing this in um oh no what do i want oh yeah actually actually jay let's go for let's go for a lovely chunky of strandy coleslaw so i'm going to use the thick flat wedge of my mandolin so that i get the thinnest slices Thick wedge for the thin slices, thin wedge for the thick ones. Cool. I'm going to press down quite hard. You know, back in the old days, um, when they used to have to simulate um, in Star Trek the ship being attacked, that's, this is pretty much what they did. They just wobbled everything and then got the actors to wobble as well. So I've got the... Nice a full white onion there and i'm just separating separating it up yeah and then you can give that a hand mix if you don't mind i don't mind at all no i get the cabbage sorted and then i'm going to use the same thin for the cabbage uh, bo peep says afternoon those vegan guys first time commenting thank you for here being here bo peep and thank you for commenting Great stuff. Nice. Right. Very thinly shredded cabbage. Now that also no means mixing in verbs. Be done with this. Um, well, well, I was going to say I'll let you sort that out, and I can carry on just. Mixing all this together. I might just do just a tiny bit more. Because... Yeah, because it usually lasts us, doesn't it, a few days. Yeah. We won't eat all this in one go. Right, I'll put this away. Push it down your There we go. Nice. I need to open that. I'm going to need to dry my hand first. 
So the uh, cauliflower rice is done. For anybody who is uh, just joining us, cauliflower rice is done. Pulled jackfruit is done. And Paul is, uh, with my assistance, just in the process of whipping up a fine slaw. And then this will formulate our dinner this evening, which you will see on our Tuesday's meals vlog. There we go. That's sorted. I'll let you do that because I have no idea how much to put in. Right, so I can now take off my safety glove. Oh, those onions have got to my eyes a little bit. Grab any stragglers from from Miss Choppy Chop. Just give that a rinse. Kate is having homemade veggie pita pizzas tonight, so they can choose their own toppings, then finish off dinner with a plant-based good cheesecake. Right, so I've got julienne carrot in there, and very finely sliced raw white cabbage and white onion. That's it. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to walk in my white rice vinegar. Any white vinegar will do. Any. Really. You know, edible white vinegars, obviously. Just give it a little sprinkle. Give it a mix and make sure everything is coated with that vinegar. Uh, you might want a little pinch of salt at this point. I'm going to do that. At this point, if you wanted to, if you were so inclined, say if you were going for a garlic slaw, you could add some crushed garlic at this point, uh, or you could just add some garlic powder. I'm just going for a nice, simple, crunchy slaw. So we're going to pop that now, as is, with salt and vinegar in the fridge for about 10 minutes. Is that needs to go in? No, I'll leave it out because the final stage of the slaw is to is to come yet. <sighs> nice. Ooh. Nice. We'll just catch up with the chat for a few minutes, can't we? And just relax. Yeah. yeah. So there you go. That is uh, the, the most of how you make <laughs> uh, cauliflower rice, uh, pulled jackfruit and slaw. And the three of them together really do constitute a beautiful meal with some soft white bread rolls to make sandwiches gorgeous. Yes, yes indeed. Uh, Stacey says, I think I'm doing a breakfast tonight or a brinner, as you guys call it. Love a brinner. Nice. Absolutely love a brinner. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Bo Peep says I was catching up on the allotment series late last night I fell asleep, so relaxing I'm wanting to plant tomatoes now Oh, some of our babies have come through Yes That were planted last week Yeah as, as we often say about our allotment vlogs, to be honest Which are usually uploaded on a Monday uh, And for those who are new to us and the channel uh, Or on Insta We are in our third year on our allotment now um, But even if you're not interested in growing stuff a lot of people tell us it's really nice to watch the allotment vlogs because they are just so relaxing to watch. Uh, so even if you're not necessarily interested in growing stuff, do uh, do check out the allotment vlogs that are uh, uploaded. And uh, there is a playlist for them as well. Oh, Vegan Thruple. Sorry, you've asked me about these flags before. One of our subscribers sent us to them. I think they were from Etsy. I think we might be right. I think they were from Etsy, but I can't. I'm sure when we opened it, there was an, an Etsy, you know, card or leaflet. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, we've got a name on them, on, have they, like... But they are beautiful. They've been in our kitchen so long now. No, I don't think they have, actually, have they? No. Hmm. <laughs> 
Pauline says, hubby is preparing a vegan roast. Looking forward to it. Quite a few people have commented, obviously, you know, as we're kind of cooking and doing, doing as you're doing your thing, mm-hmm. it's like people are hungry. I'm hungry now. I wanted <laughs> to eat all of that that was just made. But I have to be patient and wait till later on. But we'll write enjoy it later on when we have it later on. That's the thing, won't we? Yeah. <laughs> vegan runner. I might go for some cheese slaw and bung some vegan cathedral city and fancy it with barbecue sauce. Oh, nice. Nice. I love a slaw. A slaw is a filthy way of having some fresh raw veg. Uh, uh, Alex, I think we, uh, I'll just revisit that briefly, um, but we did mention it before. No major snow up our neck of the woods. We did have some. But it's not been too severe. To be honest, the um, the storm that we had the other night was probably more severe than any actual he- heavy snow that we've had. Proper off. So we both stood at back door like terrible out there. Watching Dorothy blow past. Yes. Oh, chat jumped then. Uh, Jeanette says we're cheating tonight as we are both full of a cold and having a subway. Oh, good on you, dog. You've got to look after you. So feed a cold. Yes. Never forget that. Feed a cold, starve a fever. So we'll have to see how this has worked out on um, on Instagram, won't we? And uh, whether, because we've not, have we ever gone live on Instagram before? I think we have. Have we? Once or twice. Yeah, very rarely, very rarely. Yes. Oh, I do love a focaccia. Yeah, it's beautiful. Tom. Thanks for that. I'll have to try it. I've got gorgeous focaccia that I'll put vegan chicken and mozzarella and basil in and serve with herby potato wedges. Nice. Lovely. There's a there's a recipe vlog on this very channel from the vegan queens making focaccia. It's very funny. It's very funny, but it's also a damn fine product at the end. Yes. Isn't it? Yeah. Even with all the funniness and the shenanigans. Yeah. It turns out beautiful. Gorgeous. Yeah. It's a process though, isn't it? I suppose most bread making is a process, isn't it? Uh ooh. Uh, where we at? Where we at? Where we at? <laughs> I think we're reasonably caught up. I, I plan to do more random lives of me cooking metal kicks ass. However, I'll make sure that my uh, Wi-Fi is switched on next time. Yes. Do you realise I streamed that entire video on 4G and didn't realise until the end? I was looking back through it and I was like, why the why is the quality so bad? Went to check the uh, Wi-Fi settings on my phone. wasn't switched on. Because, of course, when I'm working, I have 4G on all day. Because I'm out and about. It's an easy mistake to make, to be fair, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? It is an easy... And also, though, equally, and I think I said it at the time, it's the first time that you've made that mistake going live. I don't think we've ever gone live before with 4G unless we've been, obviously, out of the house somewhere. And then we don't have a choice, do we? <clears throat> yeah, I think we're all caught up. Everything's good. Everything's fine. Uh, I'll tell you what I'll do. I shall shift these out of the way. Put this back over here. Julie, I tried growing uh, spring onions once. When we go right back to our gardening before we had the allotment, when we um, when we started gardening here at home they didn't grow so well they didn't did they no no so i can i'm sorry love i can give you no advice on spring onions i think it's trial and error sometimes there's so many variables with stuff that half the time we're just kind of like we'll just give it a try and see what happens like a lot of people talk about um you know the composition of your soil the acidity and the nitrogen in your soil and it can all get very overwhelming and very complicated we just do our best, don't we? Mm-hmm. Most of the time, we just do our best with the areas that we've got and what we've got, and and then when we have successes and failures, we try our best to learn from it, and that's it, basically. Uh, Bo Peep, what's the best vegan cheese in your opinion for pasta dishes? What pasta dish? Ah, there you go. Mine would be different depending on the on the dish, I think. 
as opposed to like if you was going to do something that was more spaghetti based versus something that was well like no a, like a mac cheese mac and cheese is a cheese based pasta dish with you whereas if you're just using cheese as an addendum or even a topper that would be a whole different scenario true true that refine true. your question bo pete and where are your sheep <laughs> they're, they're being looked after Oh, Siddy says, had some Asian-inspired quinoa salad for dinner tonight. It was lovely. Sounds lovely. Spaghetti. So making a cheese sauce with the spaghetti or just using a cheese to sprinkle on top of a tomato-based spaghetti sauce. Because, again, see, you're asking me and I'm answering what I do. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Not necessarily what's best. See, on when we have a tomato-based uh, spaghetti, we use nooch yeah as a sprinkle yeah yeah, yeah yeah it does the job doesn't it does the job nicely because you can you can make your own kind of parmesan really there's loads i think i did one on the channel once i i did a mix of um very very dry nuts nooch uh i think garlic powder some kind of herbs um and kept it in the fridge and it was a gorgeous pasta topper Funny, you mean spaggly bobs? Spaggly bobs. <laughs> spaggly bobs and meat bars. Uh, Jeanette says, I brought, I bought a small red gooseberry bush from Aldi last week to add to my plot. Love a gooseberry. Oh, nice one. Are they hardy, Janet? Gooseberries. Does it like, does it say anything? Because we've lost Lemony Brenda. Down at the Lotman now. She gone. Mm -hmm. She gone. She gone. Uh, Master Jedi Mike, are you ready for camp out? Not giving it a massive amount of thought. We've gi we've given it a few thoughts, and we're kind of thinking about the logistics of it all, and we're very excited, of course, about it. We've just hit a hundred thumbs up. Thank you, you oh, wonderful thanks, people. Guys. Greatly appreciated. Um, so yeah, I guess the the answer to the question is we're kind of ready. We'll be more ready nearer the time. <laughs> Yeah, I just wondered if like they they needed any, you know, like blueberries need um, ericaceous uh, soil, and whenever you buy them, you should buy two different varieties because they kind of cross pollinate. Because uh, I, I know newts make gooseberries, so I know that like blackberries and raspberries, you can just buy a bunch of whack it in, and mm -hmm. you know it'll probably germinate. But um, although I do like gooseberries. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm quite happy with what we've got in Berry Boulevard already. Oh, but um, I wasn't. Dude. No, I know. I know. A... But also, equally, I've, I've got high hopes this season, particularly for our strawberries. Fingers crossed, because we had, considering how new some of our strawberries were last year, we had a good, we had a good amount of strawberries, didn't we, last year? Yes. Um, so I'm hoping that. See, look at look what Docs has said there. Dad gets good crops by totally ignoring his. Yeah. It's the kind of berry bush you want in it, really. Yeah. You know what I mean? We haven't done too much with uh, with our berry stuff down at the allotment, other than kind of protect it when it needs protecting, really, as best we can. But last summer, we had, I think, four or five days where we had a major heat wave. Uh, and although most of our berries were okay, it did pretty much wipe out a heck of a lot of our blueberries which we were really gutted about yeah and because the year before those blueberries were gorgeous that four day heat wave was so dreadful yeah wasn't it proper dreadful yeah 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 funny and plums jason of course yeah we could go into uh we could go into the production with the amount of plums that we got off that plum tree last year um but we donated a plenty uh which was really nice to be able to do is to just pass it on to the local community do you know what i mean um, because there's no way we would have been able to use them all. Um, and the less waste we have, the better, mm -hmm. you know, in life. Oh, that's good. Metal kicks ass. As I know, I know our, uh, our friends and followers and subscribers over in the States uh, and other parts of the world, of course, as well, but in the States that, you know, a lot of them tell us, 
you guys have got it going on in England. England is like amazing for vegan stuff. Yeah, but it's um, nice to read about the stuff going on in America. Yeah, just want to let you know there's an expo in the US called the National Product Expo for Food in Anaheim, California, that is showing off a lot of new vegan food products. Yeah, that's, good. that's good. That's good. Yes. Oh. Say vegan runners like us as well. <laughs> it's, isn't it? Isn't it quite specific though? It's like, well, it depends. What What do you mean? Yeah. What do you mean? Tell me a good vegan cheese. What for? What would you use it for? Yeah. <laughs> I suppose if you cook, that's the question that you would get in response from me. I'd be like, oh, yeah, Cathedral City is great cheese, but I'm not a cook. Uh, produce not pills. We donated a lot of plums to um, a, a residential home right near. And then, what's that uh, charity called? I knew he was going to ask this. I can't remember the name of the charity off the top of my head. I know what they do. I can remember what they do and all that side of it, but I can't actually remember the name of the charity. Crib, Cribs International. Cribs International. Um, we know uh, one of the um, founders and directors of the charity that does incredible work helping uh, immigrant women and children um, in many places in the world and uh, she makes jams and preserves and marmalades and sells them to help from the charity so she got a huge amount of them yeah it's great absolutely great uh, vegan thruple just found those flags from a charity called institutes for animal happiness in case anyone else is in love with them as, as much as me nice thank you for sharing that vegan thruple appreciate it <clears throat> Do you want to, uh, is this coleslaw ready to be? Yeah, you can yeah. bring it out now. It's the final stage. Um, and the jar of mayo, of course, Jay. Um, that? And perhaps the horseradish mustard, which is on this rack. Yeah. Um, horseradish mustard. The mayo is behind the chocolate milk. Ah. So I'm going to spin in the fridge for a while my carrots, cabbage, and onion. I'm just gonna add about this much horseradish mustard, which is uh, Sainsbury's own and is clearly marked vegan. And then I'm gonna use some Hellman's vegan mayo. And just a really big dollop and another one. Now, because I don't want it swimming, but I do want everything coated. This will be great and later on. We'll eat this over a couple of nights. We'll eat it tonight with our. Um, uh, pulled jackfruit and cauliflower rice to make lovely sandwiches and then I will find some other way to incorporate it into a meal of some kind because we don't do waste in this house it's true it's true and that's it my loves that's it there's your slaw you can chop it as fast like you might you might want smaller pieces um and usually to be honest with you i do that i do a much smaller chop coleslaw but today i just fancied something a bit chunky yeah thank you cycling with russ is on insta thanks for joining us mate thanks for popping in and uh saying hello and uh, of course i know i said it in a message recently but uh, congratulations to you and the fam on the new addition to the fam indeed congrats my dude Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Fresh, gorgeous, delicious, mm -hmm. zingy, creamy, beautiful. Yeah. <clears throat> 
proper nice that. Mm. Proper nice. Oh, I suppose to put these back in the fridge room. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. That's gonna be a gorgeous dinner tonight, that. Mm. So there you go, my loves. We've made three things on today's uh, lovely live. We've made cauliflower rice. We've made uh, barbecue pulled jackfruit. And we've made a homemade, very fresh slaw. And those three elements will uh, make our dinner uh, this evening. Yeah. And um, it will be no doubt delicious with, uh, like I said, some soft brown rolls from uh, from Spa, Crossroad. Why wouldn't you? Um, an interesting question from Stacy. Mm. Stacy says, what have you enjoyed growing the most? I like growing potatoes. It's like a treasure hunt when you dig them up. We're exactly the same, Stacy. <laughs> we, we, uh, we, we've got a lot of joy out of growing our potatoes and picking them up. And making our very first pan of homegrown homemade mash. Oh yeah, just perfection. It was beautiful. The Northern Vegan Festival is today in Manchester. We mentioned it at the very start of the vlog. Um, uh, yeah, we uh, we no. Sometimes we don't go because we don't want or need anything. And we had a live lined up and uh, we don't like to compromise too many lives. We only really do that when we absolutely have to uh, for some reason. Like if we're away away. Yeah, or like we desperately need a break. Um, but I know that people enjoy these and I knew that today I was going to end up cooking at least two elements uh, that people have shown interest in. And hopefully they'll I've, I've shown you how easy they are and hopefully you'll give them a chance yourself um because the more uh meals that i think all of us can incorporate into our diets that are genuinely whole food plant-based and i'm going to class the slaw as even though it's got mayo and mustard in it i'm not going to become one of those where, oh no those. you have to make all your spices from scratch um you know it's pretty much uh, a whole food plant based meal except for bread Alison on insta says uh, just going back obviously to before um looks delicious made me really hungry yeah you know what a lot of people uh, do get pretty hungry uh, when we're doing these cooking in the kitchen lives um it's it's often the case and also when we have our mukbangs when we do our eat with us on a saturday night um, people often eat with us or they at least have already eaten but they've got snacks prepared uh, because that is that is the case sometimes uh, Sasha is in the house Sasha thank you for popping in hello good sir Adam is in the house uh, we are competing with the football today uh, in Adam's house but thank you for popping in Adam yeah I think we're uh, we're fairly fairly well caught up I don't think we've missed too much <laughs> Angel, Adam Hewitt, did you watch the, the, the Villa game illegally? It's not on TV. <laughs> <laughs> you probably nice. didn't say it, write it that way, but that's how I read it. Yeah, nice, nice. Yeah, so it's going to be interesting, actually, to have a quick look at the Instagram live afterwards, um, because obviously, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm just stating things as they are and from what I've observed today, because that's kind of who I am when people join us on our YouTube mm -hmm. live, we gen generally retain a similar amount of people throughout. Mm -hmm. Whereas on Instagram, because Instagram is a very, very different social media platform, um, we ha will have a few people who have maybe stuck with us, but pe lots of people who I think have just dipped in Pop and out. In and, then they, and then they're out of the line. This is not what kind of live I want. <laughs> How's it going? Um, you know, attention span on Instagram. And for users of Instagram, it's a different zone. No, we can see the chat on Instagram. I could I just about made out your senses then, my love. Honeybees. Hi. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Honeybees, please. Yes. And Alexandra has left us three lovely pink love hearts. Oh, and Michelle. Thank you, Ross. Who's a noob. Oh, that's a lovely. <laughs> yeah. I love that. That's so cool. I sent us a $5 gift from Blaine Canada. Thanks, Michelle very much thank you thank you my darling greatly appreciated 
yes, 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 all is good. Yeah, looking forward to my food later on. Can yeah, it can be a nice dinner tonight, won't it? it will, it will, uh, before that, uh, so I think somebody asked us before what time we ate dinner. Um, usually around 7, 7.30. That's our kind of standard time for eating dinner, isn't it? Give it to yeah. Uh, sometimes because of teaching and whatever, a little bit later, but usually around the 7, 7.30 mark. Um, we're going to, uh, when we finish this live, when when it gets to around five o'clock after way after the live we're not staying in that long we'll have um uh the last coffee of the day uh and a chocolate biscuit tonight is a no wine night so we're going to get some pepsi max uh from spa we're about to get our muffins yeah um because it's just cross road really so we'll get our bread and our um uh, our Pepsi, Pepsi Max. Yeah. Oh, nice. Bo Peep says, I'll definitely join when you go live again. Set my notifications. Well, the next time will be uh, Sunday, Saturday. Saturday. Next Saturday. Next, mukbang. Next Saturday, Mukbang. Yes. In the evening. Uh, it will be at uh, 8.30. 8.30, yes. Uh, allotment Complex 4 says, hello. Hello. Quite a subdued way. Hello. Uh, hello. Hello. Thank you for being here. Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, did you notice the chat just disappeared then and then came back again? Like all of it? No. It literally, everything above there then just disappeared completely and then flashed back on again. Mm. Strange. Uh, Adam watched Fall last night, did give him a bit of vertigo and he's done a parachute jump. Good film though. Mm. Yeah, we enjoyed it. We enjoyed it. Loved it for... Uh, just the um, exposure element and how well it was filmed in portraying that level of exposure. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> okay. Oh, gee, original punk rockers, no, dear. No, oh, they arrived uh, long before us. Most, oh, yeah. Most of the original punk rockers are now pensioners. We're not quite there. Not nearly, quite. But not quite. Not quite. No. I'm not far off. I'm 53. Thank you for being here, though. And uh, thanks for your question. And Bo Peep, next Saturday it is. Fabulous. Yes. We always enjoy our, uh, our mukbangs. Uh, yeah, they're lovely. They're, they're always nice. Mainly yeah. because we get to just sit and stuff our faces. We like eating. We do like eating. Most definitely. <laughs> Well, we may actually uh, continue with the Instagram uh, lives just to, because, you know, build them up. Yeah. Build them up and all that. I don't know if they stay on like um, Facebook ones do, uh, YouTube ones do. I'm not sure myself, to be honest with you. Not 100% sure. No. Uh, Nicholas says, are you enjoying Picard? Yes, of course. Yes. Um, I think if... For some strange and bizarre reason, we weren't enjoying Picard. Uh, we probably would have been quite vocal about it by now, because um, we're like that. Uh, but no, so far it's given us, I hope I'm okay speaking for you, it's given us everything that we wanted and more besides Yeah. so far. Very, very happy with season three of Picard. Uh, it's a weird one. Uh, I won't go on about this too much, because do appreciate that obviously not everybody watching is a Trekkie or is into Star Trek. So just very briefly, I will say... We are currently going through re-watching the entirety of the Next Generation series. Yeah. So it's a bit of a funny one to be jumping from the Next Generation all the way forwards in history to Picard God. now and then jumping back. It's interesting, again. though. It's great. Loving it. Loving it, loving it. Alex is in the house. Thank you for being here and good afternoon. It just jumped. Mm -hmm. oh, I'll just leave it. Yeah. We miss chat sometimes, darlings, because we, we move it and it goes. And we're just like, oh, we're not scrolling back five miles. <laughs> Ralph is waving his paw and sitting on the keyboard shedding, Docker says. <laughs> Uh, Flanny, no, um, we haven't seen the punk rock vegan movie on YouTube yet uh, by Moby, but I think we will probably get around to watching it at some point. As long as the scenes aren't too dis 
distress and I'm, I'm, uh, I'm past the point of being able to handle stuff. Yes. I, I don't actually know if there's a lot, to, a lot of that in there. I've had to unsubscribe from so many people on Instagram because I just can't handle it. Yeah. I'm doing all I can. True. Uh, Peter says, the clock's changed in Canada where I live. When do they change for you in the UK? End of two, March. Two it? weeks. Yeah. Two weeks today, I think. Well, two weeks today at 2 a.m. in the morning. So it would have already happened by now. Yes. Uh, Sasha is heading off. Need to get going cooking. We are famished from working the garden today. Sasha, I'm glad you had a chance to pop in. And I'm sure that that food will taste even better uh, for all the graft that you've put in uh, in the garden. Oh, Ashley's currently suffering in bed with a very bad back. Mm. Are you being looked after, though, Ash? I hope you Warmth are. and comfort and grubs and hot drinks when you need them. Uh, yes. Just scroll now, Mucker. Yeah. Nice. Oh, Karen says, my first live today. Looking forward to joining you next time. Well, thank you for being here, Karen. Saturday night, Karen, next week. 8.30. Dinner in the kitchen. All sorted. Yes. Hmm. Oh, Beardy. Uh, Beardy Run UK. Um, do appreciate you might have missed it earlier on. So whenever we're live streaming on YouTube, uh, we use quite a nice... Very high quality webcam. Webcam, yes. Um, yeah, the camera will be mainly a lot of vlogs, although not this week's. You'll see why. Um, but mainly a lot of vlogs and anything that we film at home and edit, like the unboxing vlog from the other day. Yes. Oh, Ashley, I hope you, uh, as somebody who has intermittent back pain and has to be a little bit careful, um, I do empathise with you. It always comes out of nowhere, doesn't it? Sometimes you get really, really bad lower back. Some of it is stress related and some of it is posture related mm. because I spend a lot of time at work in front of a computer and yeah. I spend a lot of time at home in front of a computer. Uh, so I am trying yeah. to make a bit more of an effort with my posture, how I sit, not hunching over. Um, but then sometimes I'll just get up and like run upstairs to the loo or something thinking that I'm still 13 um, and just jolt me back. And then for like three days, I'm like getting in the car like... Aah! Michelle, we do indeed still have our uh, Amazon wish list. It's the it's it's our like we don't put things on it expecting uh, them to be bought. It's that we use it for we need this in the future. Like our new camera was on it for about three months until we we bought it yes. last week. Uh, so it's not there's not a lot of stuff on there at the moment. Kind of you know giftables. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there's a lot of small stuff on there it's all big stuff unfortunately the more but it is there it it exists yes um Most definitely right shall we bring this to a close my love uh because yes. i think we've done everything that we needed uh to do uh and extra slow besides yeah it's been lovely as always uh, so very productive uh live and we hope that you guys over on instagram have enjoyed it don't know if it sticks around and people will be able to watch it later i think somebody said before you there's, there's an option to add it to something all oh, right like once you once you stop the live it gives you an option to like add it to something or whatever so it might be worth looking at that i shall have to check yes i shall have to check <laughs> but uh, no it's so been it's been lovely thank answer. you uh leanne and ash and uh in particular today ash for coming with your broken back <laughs> yes uh you didn't have to look you know there's never any expectations but we're always grateful that you're uh here to um help mod and just generally support us and thank you for everyone who's uh watched us today really hope you've enjoyed this video really hope that you, you've learned something uh really hope that i've been able to show you how easy cauliflower rice and pulled jackfruit and homemade slaw are and i hope that you give them all a bash whether it be together as a meal or separately as elements that you can say i made that because that's what it's all about that is totally what it's all about. And I also, what it's all about as well is, for me, 
uh, is actually being able to uh, actively participate, which is always nice. Because I'll be honest with you, I do feel the pressure a little bit. I'm not really knowledgeable at all when it comes to stuff in the kitchen, particularly when it's like doing something like the barbecue sauce from scratch. Oh, Naomi, thank you. Yes, we were going to open a parcel. Oh, so yeah. Thank you for the reminder. Official Sorry. False, official false ending. That was a false ending. We've been sent a lovely parcel. And I'll go and grab it. Yeah, 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 grab it. Naomi, bravo. And I'm well sure done, lots Naomi. Of others... Thanks, love. Yeah. And those that have already left, you missed out. <laughs> Everyone's saying goodbye and leaving now. It's our own fault. So we just do this first and foremost, just to make life a little bit easier for us all. Like that, and if I just do that, that, and that, half the job's done. So I think, we think this is from the lovely Dorcas. This is what we think. Ah. Oh. oh, I don't know. Oh no, I don't know. Oh no, it might not be. Might not be. We might be wrong. Let's uh, let's go Thank with the card first. Go with the card first. Oh, there's a plethora. Ooh. Oh, oh, <laughs> recognize that straight away. Gorgeous. Oh, nice. What's the other one? Nice. Nice. That's gorgeous. Yeah, I love that. I love that. Awkward. Awkward station. Those so we've got an, we've got an Oakwood Station postcard for the uh, for the allotment. It is Dorcas and Nigel. It is Dorcas and Nigel. Fabulous. Oakwood signage. Gorgeous. Love it. Love it. I'm going to be brutally honest in it because it's just reminded me. And you know me, I'm not a particularly negative person. These are all gorgeous, by the way. But having seen the postcards for the Railway Children Return, it has just reminded me. I genuinely, in the deep of my heart, I feel as though they could have done a better job and they should have done a better job. It doesn't matter. The original one exists. I know. Still. And we'll look. Right. Anyway. Um, anyway. So, uh, right. Hope... You're not going to read the full letter. No, no, no. Hopefully, by now, it is Docs and Nigel. Thank you, Docs and Nigel. Uh, you will have received a tub of Manalife peanut butter, which should have arrived with the other jars in this parcel. So that, so that one hasn't come yet, Dorcas. Um, well, let's see. So there was an issue with sending that one with this stuff, apparently. <laughs> okay. So we've got oh. an Oakworth Station ceramic mug. The original metal sign company, a proper mug. With awkward station on it which is gorgeous okay let me pop that there there's so a this is actually from Dorcas, nigel rupert and ralph oh who are their fair children that's awesome um i'm going to just unwrap this one and there's one other one there that you can unwrap. and apparently there's another one on the way which should have come with these but couldn't for some reason but i'm not going to read the full letter oh deep roast crunchy oh no it might be Manny Life peanut butter like no other. Deep roast smooth. I love peanut butter. I love it. Amazing. Shift me head out of where. There we go. Show us Instagram pals and all. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Love it. I'm not going to open that yet. Oh, that's delightful. Absolutely delightful. Loving the Oakwood so, stuff. Uh, Dorcas says the deep roast is our favourite chaps. Wonderful. I think the magnet, I think the Oakworth magnet is going to have to stay at home. Oh, God, yeah. yeah. That's got to go on the but the postcards, of oh, course. What? Sorry. Delightful. Right, now we'll go. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you uh, for joining us. Thank you for the thumbs up. Um, thank you for the gifts, of course. Uh, thank you for helping us get the Down to Earth Vegan message out there because it really is a Down to Earth Vegan message. And I think with the state of the world at the moment, let's be frank, it kind of needs to be a Down to Earth Vegan message, doesn't it? Because mm -hmm. people are on such 
However, you've got to be careful because I, you know, I've noticed a few kind of placating posts on Facebook of late about, and it, it, I'll say it most of the time, no matter where you are on your journey, if you're having one meal a week, if you're reducing this, well done, I fully support you. I don't know if you've been doing it for two or three years. Yeah. Get there. Because animals are dying every time you pour milk in your coffee, every time you eat an egg. This is animals are dying. This is and me. I can't can not yeah. and mention that because if they don't have a voice, but we do, and we're using it. And we're human. Um, you know, so most of the time, 99.9% .9 of the time, uh, we'll be very supportive and uh, and and very encouraging mm -hmm. and, and hope to try and motivate and inspire. Um, but just like every other human, now and again, you'll catch us on a day when we're just like, you know what, you've been doing this for two years. Come on, the finish so line's time. there. It's right there. You can see it. Come on, 2023. Stop putting it every time. Every time you put it off, animals die. Yes. And the planet becomes more dangerous. Every time. It's been a pleasure, as always, to be in the kitchen <laughs> with all you awesome people, um, not just here on YouTube today, but on Instagram as well. Um, thank you all for joining us. Thanks to our mods. Thank you for all of the support. What we ask is engage with us, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Alexandra's asked in two places now, how is the new air fryer? You've seen it, love. You've seen as much as we've done with it so far. Uh, we do not rush to use things immediately. That drives me crazy. I'm one of those people that I've still got labels on all my Gemini dresses. I don't take them off. You go. We'll get there. Time and when we tell. do, you'll know because it'll be vlogged. Yes. <laughs> uh, you've all been lovely. You've all been awesome. Um, I think we are. I think we're done and dusted there. Thank you for the reminder uh, of uh, of the opening up the gift because we'd forgotten. And thank you, Docs and Nigel, you lovely pair. I'm dying to try these now. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happy days. Marvelous. Right. Thank you, everyone. Love you, mister. Love you. Love you guys. As I said earlier, thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you've learned something from this. Uh, please share it with folk. Anyone who asks you about cauliflower rice or jackfruit, uh, pulled jackfruit, or how to make your own um, slaw, send them this video. Yes. And we would really appreciate that. And have a bash yourself and let me know uh, how it works out for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Until uh, we see you again very soon, please be excellent to yourselves and each other. Bye, loves.